Support for WCBU Reports comes from State Farm Agent Aaron Kilgore, a Peoria native providing auto, home, and life insurance. More at AaronIsMyAgent.com. You're listening to Morning Edition from NPR. I'm Colin Chope with WCBU Reports. In addition to choosing a president, Peoria County voters will also choose a 10th Circuit resident judge in November. Incumbent Republican candidate Frank I. Ruley was appointed to the position after six years as an associate judge. Over 32 years, he's worked in civil and criminal law and currently oversees large commercial disputes and medical malpractice cases. When it comes to what makes a good judge, he calls fairness the easy answer. What I really think is the most important thing about a judge is to be patient patient and to listen because litigants come into courtroom and nobody wants to come to court. They're summoned to be there or they're there because there's a problem they can't solve on their own. Previously, I really oversaw Peoria County's juvenile court. Now he says he's working with a broad coalition to create a juvenile treatment court. Which is going to focus in narrowly on those kids that the chief of police says, though the 40 or 50 young men or women who are driving crime in Peoria. The plan, he says, is to tailor treatments and sanctions specifically to these few dozen kids and fix the problem. Getting juveniles connected to the right resources and support systems while closely monitoring them to reduce recidivism. The process of establishing this new court includes law enforcement, juvenile probation, social service agencies, the city's racial justice and equity commission, and the reestablishment establishment of a juvenile justice coordinating council. This treatment court won't be a top-down thing. This won't be a judge I really says this is what we're going to do. Um, all of the different stakeholders will have a say on how we do this. And that brings legitimacy. The legitimacy of the court system is a concern I really mentions throughout his interview. He says that highly visible national court cases have led to an erosion of belief in the impartiality of courts by the public and media. They believe that one party or another has the finger on the scale. And, and, and that's enormously important because we're a country of laws. And, and if there isn't a buy-in that those laws are just and that I'm going to be treated just, that affects everything. I really says that distrust has trickle-down effects at the county court level. Strategies to rebuild that trust from the bench include treating litigants respectfully, not being abrupt or rude, and explaining rulings in depth. Generally speaking, even if the outcome isn't one they want, they feel that they've been treated fairly and they understand why you've made your decision. And I think that goes a long way to ensuring that the public trusts what we do. I really also has a solid grasp on the changing legal landscape in Illinois as the judicial system continues to adjust to the Safety Act and introduction of no cash bail. He calls the changes radical, but says they're not unheard of. Juvenile cases, for instance, have never had bonds. People who present a danger to the community can and should remain in custody. However, just because you're poor and you can't pay a $250 bond for a speeding ticket, um, you shouldn't remain in custody for cases like that. I Iruli's challenger for the seat on the bench is Tazewell County First Assistant Public Defender John Spears. In their interviews, they share very similar views on the role of a judge, no cash bail, and both have been both prosecution and defense. My opponent is a nice young man, and, and I can understand why uh, he's bellying up to the bar to run. However, what really differentiates me is my much greater experience that he has. In a survey conducted by the Illinois State Bar Association with anonymous Illinois attorneys, I really received a recommended designation. Voters will decide how much weight that experience carries on November 5th. For WCBU Reports, I'm Colin Shope.